What's up? Tyler from Plugged On. I'm here with an album review. This time I'm going to talk about the new album from Behemoth entitled I Loved You at Your Darkest. This is their 11th album. This came out on Metal Blade Records and this is the follow up to 2014's The Satanist. Uh, I apologize. I did not get this review out sooner as well. This came out October 5th last week. So, uh, been extremely busy. This week's just been chaos. So, uh, finally getting around to it now. So, uh, but. You know, this being the follow-up to The Satanist. The Satanist, to me, is one of my favorite albums of all time. I think it's one of the best metal albums ever recorded. It was a hell of a comeback for Behemoth. You know, at that point, it was their first album in five years. This is their, you know, it's been four years since The Satanist. But uh, that that album just was is perfection to me. Uh, it was my album of the year that year. So very much high ex- high expectations for whatever Behemoth does next. Uh, just because of the trajectory they've been on. Like, you know, they started out as kind of a black metal band, then they brought more death metal elements in, and now they're just kind of writing stuff. You know, they, they had those black metal al- elements, they had the death metal elements, um, but, you know, he... But Behemoth, uh, you know, they're also very much exploring and the satanist was uh, in a great example of that and and this continues down that path of uh they're, they're they're definitely adding a lot of different elements to their sound particularly clean vocals on this one there's a few tracks on here that that have clean vocals i think they're done very well and i love at the the added aspect of them i think it really really adds something to their sound you know behemoth has a dark evil sort of vibe going on already and i think most of the time it just it adds to it uh bart sabell is to me the greatest example of that on here that song is fucking phenomenal i love the way it starts off just with the sim- simple guitar then i love how the drums you know build it up you know and it's just the drums then the guitar comes back in uh and, and every time that chorus just kicks in you know the inferno's drum beat there uh while not insane as people know him for and as is on this album and other spots is just the perfect pace for that course it's it's really well done uh the first few songs that they released uh you know uh wolves of siberia god equals dog phenomenal tracks i feel like god equals dog could very much fit into the satanist if it was thrown on that album uh v- Phenomenal guitar work, very very catchy uh, opening riff there. I love when you know that song starts and the drums are ba 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 ba. It's just oh, it, it gets me going every time. And then then you know the blast beats come in and it's just really in your face. Neural's vocals, very mean, very phenomenal sounding on this one as well. Very much in line with um, in terms of production as uh, the Satanist. And what I liked about the Satanist. And it is that I feel like albums such as Demigod or The Apostasy or Evangelion, but not as much. Uh, it, Nurgle's vocals were just so just in your face in terms of production. They were so fucking loud. And I, I just didn't. It, it makes it hard for me to get into those albums the same way I've enjoyed, say, the past three, the Evangelion and now The Satanist. Um, that's just my opinion. But, you know, here it, it fits into the production extremely well um and and the thing about god equals dog that i love is one that the kid chant that's just genius it's so fucking cool uh and then even you know opening up with the the intro track before wolves of Siberia, you know that that stuff's just like how'd you get them to agree to that on me even that uh it's cool uh but then god equals dog it gets to one thing i love about this album that they do a lot is a little bit more melodic almost chord focused uh progression of of their guitar work in terms of like about three quarters of god equals dog just a more simplistic uh guitar riff uh bart sabelle is another one that opens it up if crucifixion was not enough is, is another good one i love adding those aspects and it's not always just power chords and palm mutes and all this stuff uh you know let's you know do something a little bit more cleaner and i love how clean those things do sound uh in the production it, it really pops god equals dog has a great solo on here and to me there's not enough solos on this album now don't get me wrong if they if they tried to throw it in the track when they were writing it and it didn't work then it doesn't work and that's cool don't force it but god damn i love good behemoth solos they're so fucking good uh and god equals dog to me is a standout there 
Uh, there, there's some more, I would say, uh, black metal on this one than death metal, in my opinion. But like I said, they're, they're kind of mixing a whole bunch of things together. Um, it, it, stick with me. Exlesia Diabolica Catholica. Uh, it, that one, uh, Sabbath Mater, uh, Angelus 13, uh, feel like maybe some older style behemoth songs with their new sort of spin on things now. Um, Angelus 13, I love how that track, that track, that truck, that track starts up just complete chaos. Sometimes I just in so much enjoy behemoth when they are total fucking chaos on the drums and furnace just going nuts uh you know the, the riffs just like ah but it's nurgle screaming in your face it's just it's good um i think the last three songs on here are strong and they they end the album well they're very much in line with the rest of the album in terms of uh, style and all that, but they have some very good hooks to them, especially like ROM 5-8, We Are the Next 1,000 Years is an interesting song. It's not as powerful as a closer as O Father, O Satan, O Son, which I think is probably the greatest album closer fucking period. Uh, that, that, <laughs> even live, you know, when we saw Behemoth uh, on that Slayer tour, they closed with that song. It's like, wow, this is just powerful. Uh, we Are the Next 1,000 Years, not powerful, uh, but still solid to close on. Overall, I don't think it's as good as The Satanist, but that's still not saying that this is a bad album because The Satanist is so fucking way up here to me. Um, but I do really dig a lot of these tracks on here. It is it is a strong album in its own way, and it's an album that I feel you need to listen to a little bit more to appreciate it than you did The Satanist. The Satanist just clicked immediately because of how strong it was. Uh, but I, I would put this in line with, say, Evangelion or uh, Demi God or something like that, where, you know, the more albums, the more listens you give it to, the more you'll end up appreciating it. it. It's a fine album for sure. So let me know what you think of I Loved You at Your Darkest from Behemoth. 8.5 out of 10 for me. Thanks for watching. See you later.